Good evening. Just joking. Hey, it's Independent doing another tutorial here before Christmas when I get my camera and I can actually start making real videos again. Um, this tutorial is really um, only to show how you can record MySpace songs. Any MySpace song, uh, MySpace music, anything that you hear actually, but I'll do this for MySpace in the purpose of this tutorial. So obviously first open up MySpace and head to MySpace Music once I get on there MySpace Music load thank you um, and then you just go to the band that you want obviously um, I'm gonna search for, an, for a band that I know from school who happens to be on YouTube the name is Shotgun Daisy you can look them up if you want they're really good They've just released a stack load of new songs and stuff. So I want some of their new songs, which they haven't <coughs> posted anywhere online to download. And yes. So, and since they're not a big band, they're not on LimeWire or whatever, anything like that. Shotgun Daisy is the artist. Okay, and in the player over here, that's what you want to look for, obviously. They have some songs I hope they don't play while I'm listening. Then what you need to do is you need to go ahead and Google this title. It's called Wondershare Streaming Audio Recorder. I, this is only a trial, but you can buy a full version of this um, online and use it forever. I only have two days left out of the seven days that you get for the trial. But once that's opened, you, go, you head to settings and you find the... Um, device settings and then you choose whichever one you're listening to like your speakers or your high definition audio device your headphones whatever like that so once you've done that just click OK then you hit record here go to MySpace music play the song and once it starts to play you will get bars up here and it's recording what you hear and it will stop recording once it's once all these bars disappear and the music stops pretty much and I'll, now you can stop it manually if you want then you simply just browse um, rename the file to what the song is called obviously and then you can move it into your iTunes music and listen to it forever I guess so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If it's been helpful, go ahead and subscribe, rate five stars, do all that stuff because you want to. I know you do. And then check back for any other tutorials that will most likely happen this week and until Christmas. Yay, Christmas is in like 10 days. 10 days exactly. Sweet. Okay, everyone, goodbye. And goodbye. Where's F10?